Some Thursday night high school footballs we have officially reached the playoffs. How about that here in November? Most of these games will take place next week, but a few preliminary play in games on the schedule for tonight. Some teams will wrap up their regular season tomorrow night, then go to the playoffs. Even if you lose in the playoffs, you still can play more games if you want to, as long as you haven't played 10 so far this year. All right, let's get it going. We start up near the border. Uli playing host to the west side of Wolverines. The home team trying to come back from a 16-7 deficit. Looking Enzo, not looking for Antoine McCray, however. That's who wins this battle and comes down with the interception in the end zone for a touchback. So the Wolverines looking to salt this thing away in the fourth quarter. DJ Otis is the one to do it. Up the middle for a touchdown. West side, a winner tonight, 32-7. Bishop Kenny hosting Ed White in a playoff game. This was a good one. Freshman quarterback for the Crusaders, James Reeser. Off the bench the last two weeks for the injured QB. The future looks bright at BK. Four touchdown night for Reeser. Finds Jackson Burnett in the Crusaders lead 31-20. The commanders come back. Jason Patterson scored to make it a three-point game. Then he scored again to take the lead. 38 carries, almost 400 yards for Patterson tonight. Incredible effort, 34-31 Ed White with a few minutes to play. Bishop Kenny has a really good kicker. With three seconds to go, they'll try a 48-yarder, but it's a windy, windy night. And here it is for the tie in overtime. It doesn't work out. Ed White celebrates. Ed White moves on 34-31. On the road tonight, Christ Church in Orlando to open the SSAC postseason. Eagles in a first half hole when Jacob Denny connects with Hunter Hollis for a 32 yard touchdown pass. But Orlando Christian Prep just too strong on this night. Big 55 yard touchdown play for the Warriors. CCA gets knocked out 40 to 21. Bartram Trail making the long journey to Reigns Avenue to face the Vikings on Thursday. Reigns comes out the gate with the ground game. Quarterback Carlton caps off the Vikings first drive with a two yard score. Still in the first half, not to be outdone. Santino Marucci takes the quarterback keeper into the end zone for a rushing score of his own for Bartram Trail. Back and forth between these two, but Bartram would pull away 42 to 26 in favor of the road team playoffs up next. Also in action across the street, Rebald hosting Trinity Christian. Conquerors up 19 to six in the first half. When Ja'Cory Jordan goes up high to Fred Highsmith, that grab stretches the lead for the road team. Trojans trying to get something going before halftime. Montrevious Mack takes the screen pass deep into Trinity territory, but that's where the drive would stall. Trinity wins on the road 29 to 6. And Sandalwood opens the playoffs against rival Mandarin next week. They host Jackson tonight, already up 15 nothing, looking for more. Ty McNeil's toss to the end zone is. Picked off by Matthew Merritt there for the Tigers. Good play by Jackson. Then the rain would pick up, and after a punt gone awry, Saints on the doorstep. McNeil takes it in for six. All Sandalwood 29 to nothing. More playoff games and more highlights on the full 30 minute edition of the Blitz tomorrow night, 10 30, as always, streaming live on the Action News Jacks Facebook page. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 10 30 on Box 30.